Yo, what's up, Serpa Squad? Tanner here, and I'm back with a project that I've decided to call the Moss Picture Frame. I contemplated building it from scratch, but I thought it made sense to use this display case. With a little modification, it will work perfectly for my vision. I like this one because the moss can be accessed from the front for maintenance. Before then, I had to take it apart. The back piece especially is no good. It's made of cardboard and although it could be sealed, it would be easier to replace it with a better material. So I removed that in addition to all the hardware. The frames are well built, but they're not designed with a moist environment in mind. They would eventually mold and wouldn't work as a long term solution. I decided this would be a good opportunity to give Flex Seal a try. I'll only seal the inside because that's where the moisture will be. I let the pieces sit to dry after application. I gotta say, I'm pretty pleased with the result. I'll probably use this some more in the future. That said, there were a few spots on the front I had to sand down. I want it to look clean, so I gave it a fresh coat of paint. While the paint dries, I'll cover the back frame with expanded PVC boards. They're waterproof and thus a much better solution than the cardboard I removed previously. I made some measurements and cut out the pieces accordingly. I'll secure these to the frame with black silicone. This will hold them in place while keeping it all waterproof. I applied a bead to the frame and pressed the PVC in place. I flipped it over and cleaned up the inside. Now I can put the glass back in the front. I put it down and installed the hardware. I'll put silicone along the edges of the glass, but I taped it prior. I put down a bead and made sure to cover the hardware. Then I removed the tape to reveal clean beads of silicone. I need to add new hanging hardware so I can hang this on the wall. I made some measurements, drilled holes, and secured them to the frame. Rather than put moss directly into the frame, I thought it made sense to make a mat. I cut out a piece of knitting mesh for the backing. It fits perfectly into the frame. As for the moss, I have a nice selection I harvested from outside. I placed patches all over the mesh to create a nice layout. I made sure to leave dirt on the back of the moss. This will allow them to quickly acclimate to the new environment. To fix the moss, I'll use fishing line. I wove it over the moss and through the holes in the mesh. It 
took a while to get it done, but this technique did a great job holding it together. The mat fit into the frame, but I had to trim some of the moss so it fits better. I also need to account for water. I use this piece of plastic to create a barrier. I cut it down to an appropriate size. Then I applied silicone along the frame and pressed the plastic into it. I drilled a few holes and secured it with screws. After giving the moss a good spray, I put it into the frame. I reinstalled the hardware and closed it up. There you have it, the moss picture frame. I think it's a cool piece because it's all about showcasing the moss. Obviously I do that with plenty of my other builds, but this one especially brings the moss front and center. And you know me, I'm all about the moss. I think that will do it for this one though. As always, I really hope you all enjoyed the project and learned something new. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Until next time, Serpa Squad, take care and peace.